Alrighty, Gooshers, here we go with another Gooshu 100 video. This one comes to us from our good pal, Alpha Centauri. This is Roshi versus Jiraiya, the death battle. Now, in case you're wondering, you might have gone, where did our lovely, wonderful, kind-hearted Gooshman go at the beginning, at the intro? Well, uh, Alpha knows that a lot of the gang over at the YouTube channel wanted to see me react to this as well. So he said, you know, once it comes up here at the Goosh, go ahead and it up for the gang at the youtube channel as well and youtube has made it perfectly clear to me that they are not a big fan of, of our goosh man intro who would have thought i mean I, I don't understand why youtube doesn't has such a hard on for love because obviously clearly the goosh man is just demonstrating a little bit of affection for another person no but anyway youtube doesn't like it so that's why there was no intro this yeah, come on the battle of the ultimate pervs as you guys know of course roshi and jiraiya were both characters i met early on in watching anime uh master roshi first and master roshi is the one that you guys had to explain it's funny the things that stay with you because you know anime has become such a big part of my life but the the little moments that stay with you when you guys had to explain to me i couldn't figure out why that guy's Goddamn nose kept bleeding <laughs> when we first started watching those Dragon Ball Z clips and Roshi's nose would spew and you guys are like, no, no, it happens. It happens all the time in anime when there's hot chicks or nudity around. So <laughs> he, I, I'm hoping to achieve that. Well, no, I, oh man, I would, I would just die. I would lose so much blood because yeah, I notice movies a lot, but Roshi versus Jiraiya. To ask who I would be rooting for is tough because they're both quality high quality perverts i got to know roshi first i have to admit within their individual series though jiraiya is higher on my list of favored characters plus he writes porn as well as being a perv so there's that plus so i i gotta root for pervy sage just because of that but i won't be disappointed no matter who wins this let's go see you know what would be a pretty memorable holiday present the gift of genetic discovery 23andMe DNA kits are on sale from now until December 25th. It's a testing service that can provide... You know what would be a pretty memorable holiday present? What? The gift of genetic discovery. 23andMe DNA oh, kits are on sale from now season. until December 25th. Damn, too late. It's a testing service <laughs> that can provide insight into your ancestry, health, wellness, and traits. And it's super easy to use. Just spit in a tube, mm. mail it in, set up an online account, and then they'll send you a personalized spit report in, in just a few weeks. <laughs> we love learning about the unknown here at Death Battle, I so I tried it myself and found out I have a bunch of relatives over in the UK I well, never if I learn knew more about, about now until December 25th. Get my lineage, would that explain why I'm so messed up? 23andMe.com slash death battle. That's the number two. Could I have a relation to some me. classic sociopath throughout history? 23andMe.com slash death, death battle. battle. Yeah, if you guys, uh, by all means, if you guys, if that's something you look into, make sure and use their link. So. The finest warriors are never developed on their own. While some are simply molded by their enemies, the best usually seek the wisdom of a master. <laughs> for some reason, is a weird old pervert. I like love Roshi, that voice. Turtle Hermit, <laughs> and teacher to Dragon Ball's greatest hero. And Jiraiya, the Toad Sage and instructor to the most famous ninja of all. Love the frogs. He's an boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death now, battle. Now, I never said who I thought would win. I, I was talking about who I'd root. I... Goku is, without hmm. a doubt, one I don't of remember the greatest martial arts abilities. champions of all time. Probably, well, yeah, probably him, though, huh? to rival gods, become a Super Saiyan, and even master Ultra oh, Instinct. Me, but he never would have achieved any of it without the guidance of Master oh, Roshi. Too far a martial artist who's so powerful, there's only one thing in the world that can stop him. Well, uh, two things. <laughs> you what I mean. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Game, old man, and I don't want to play. <laughs> I love watching. He was a hip youngin. Roshi studied under the legendary master potato, Mutaita, and a kitty cat. Close These enough. Masters of ass. <laughs> Roshi how to weaponize his own life energy or ki. Similar to many real life Chinese martial arts, ki is a vital energy all living beings possess. The stronger and more focused you are, I don't the think greater I your ki becomes. Roshi can use his key to increase his power, I can focus on boobies. his physical limits with a bunch of awesome techniques. 
He can fire explosive shots, go buff mode, stun foes with thunder shock surprise, and even seal dangerous enemies away with the evil containment wave. It wasn't long until Roshi refined these techniques and created his yeah, own that's, martial arts I, style. I, when you think Turtle back school, to all the abilities he has, he's pretty. He's pretty. Pretty impressive. No, it's not about beating people up as slow as you can like I first thought. <laughs> school or Kame style includes everything from tricky pressure point combat to a phony drunken style. Which, if you ask which me, Rock Lee learned. just a missed opportunity to get wasted. But it was real, By yeah. delivering milk up a mountain, plowing a field with bare hands, working construction with simple tools, and being chased by both sharks milk. and bees, all while wearing a 50-pound shell, Roshi's martial art focuses on breaking the wall of humanity in every way. <laughs> Except for one. I would like to watch the original Dragon Ball. <laughs> Despite most of his from, students learning it at some point, you know, it, flight from is actually start, a in order. by his rivals, the Crane School. Apparently, Roshi's just been a bit too stubborn to properly learn the skill, even after centuries of experience. How long has he been doing this? Well, it's a little vague, but thanks to either a pet phoenix he accidentally killed or the mysterious <laughs> paradise herb, he's just shy of 360 of years old. Damn, I'm just impressed he can still get it up for the girls after all that Yeah, time. me too. Well, that's... Well, I mean, yes, I guess yeah. speaking it is quite impressive. That you is. Get me some it's of awesome. This paradise grass. I want to be chasing tail for centuries. Me Good too. But with all of those years spent honing his talents, Roshi dedicated 50 of them to developing one revolutionary technique. Hell, my weight, I'm hoping to still be chasing tail next week. <laughs> anyway. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. As we said, we've all attempted the Kamehameha. Devastating. I haven't gotten it to work yet. Well, yeah, he blew up a whole freaking mountain with it. It. Yeah, I remember this that. was inspired by the real-life flaming mountains in China, standing up to 2,600 feet tall. With Damn. this in mind, we can find that to pulverize such a mountain, Roshi's Kamehameha must equal nearly four gigatons of TNT. But that's Not bad. Stuff compared to the time he obliterated the entire moon in about five seconds, that's got to be worth, what, like 10? 20 mountains? Wiz, how many mountains make a moon? Well, more like 35 million. <laughs> to obliterate the moon in its entirety, the Kamehameha must have struck it with a force akin to three octillion tons of TNT. Three octillion. That's a 27 zero. I'd say Pervy Sage way. is going to have a oh, tough shit. time in this fight. He's also super fast. He can fight an entire battle in a blink of an eye. <laughs> Which might seem crazy, but Roshi is also able to snatch bullets out of the air that are fired at him from point blank range. That gun looks like a British Sten, which can fire up to 600 rounds per minute at a muzzle velocity of nearly 1,200 feet per second. That means Roshi That's a pretty would have impressive to feet, the then. first bullet within I would try that, see if I could catch them. Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. The maximum distance between any given shot looks to be about 3 feet, which means he would have to be moving at 180 feet per second in order yeah. to catch them all. Oh, I don't know that Pervy that Sage fast. has got anything for this. Getting married. <laughs> this speed is far <laughs> from his limit, <laughs> but Roshi's true talent is ensuring his students grow further and further than himself every day. Sadly, Roshi's frailty of age means his body can't always express just how powerful he really is. Ah, okay. Gotta take that into effect. can cause all sorts of problems. Like when his master Pistachio died using the evil containment wave. But while Roshi's pupils may surpass him, he remains one of the smartest fighters on Earth. He's tough enough to take down dozens of Frieza's soldiers and survive a beatdown from an alternate universe wannabe Frieza. He even <laughs> took a barrage of death like a champ. The same move that killed Vegeta many, many years ago. And in the Dragon Ball Super manga, that's cool. So yeah, I like these. I love the way they break all this stuff down. Emulate those of Ultra Instinct. Yeah, that's not technically canon, but it does go to show how far Roshi's training can take him. And it's safe to say that this old, perverted, but genius of a man perverted will never is key. stop training. Wow, good. Really Among good the ninja uh, of the Roshi breakdown. I like that. You are quite as impressive as Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah, I know that's crazy because, you know, but not just anyone <laughs> can fight aliens on the moon and become president of Hidden Valley Ranch. 
Naruto would become the hidden leaf hidden greatest Valley champion Ranch. and second eh, Hokage. Eh, eh. But this would never have been possible without his training under the dynamic Toad Sage and legendary Sani, Jiraiya the Gallant. Gallant, huh? Hey, Wiz, why do the most badass old dudes always turn out to be weird pervs? Uh, because well, weird pervs are cool. Crude Come on. Demeanor fool you. Oh, don't worry about me, Wiz. This ain't my first trip to Secret Leaf Ninja Town. Nothing surprises Secret me anymore. Ninja Town. What the f <laughs> <laughs> There it is. And there's the nose we do. Yeah! <laughs> uh, um, anyway, Jiraiya originally learned the Shinobi way from the third Hokage, who taught him how to use his chakra to do ninja magic. Similar to Ki, chakra is a form of life energy. In Hindu and Buddhist theologies, chakras are, in simplistic terms, gates within the human body, which can be embraced to achieve enlightenment. And then However, you open eight of them of and kick some ass. Chakra is used to perform amazing ninja techniques called jutsus. Gesundheit. Thank you. Like ah, most ninja, ah, Jiraiya ah, learned about four types of jutsus. Listen, Taijutsu, or hand-to-hand -hand combat. Nothing ninjutsu, else matters except sexy jutsu. Chakra's elemental jutsu. weapons and tools. Genjutsu, which covers illusion and mental manipulation and Senjutsu, a method of utilizing naturally occurring energy as an extension of oneself. <laughs> Jiraiya mastered as many styles as he could, and even learned one of the greatest ninjutsu attacks out there, the Rasengan. Rasengan. With this, he his chakra into a spinning orb of death, modeled up the ultra-destructive tailed beast bomb. And that thing can wipe out a whole village all at once. And on the weird side, he can sharpen his twisted sister mane into a shield his like a twisted sister mane. Fire the hairs <laughs> like a well gun. done. Possessing a keen and mischievous <laughs> mind, Jiraiya spent plenty of time developing brand new techniques, such as the invisibility jutsu, which you'd think would be perfect for stealth or assassination missions, but he actually developed it specifically to for. Uh, yeah. Research? Where else is a self-respecting writer supposed to get his, uh, Reason. inspiration oh, from? Oh my goodness. Clearly, Jiraiya sometimes took his temper oh. a bit too far. On one Pervy such Sage, occasion, you're the man. he accidentally teleported himself to a mystical land full of giant talking toads. Is you sure Jutsu isn't just like another name for crank? After befriending the toads, <laughs> Jiraiya trained under the That's sage really Fukasaki, <laughs> where he learned a bunch of fire release techniques. Like the toad oil bullet and flame bullet attacks. Now that's one impressive look. That is, that's some good Jiraiya stuff. I don't know, does this with the toads. stack up against Roshi, though? Field of battle. As his own talents relied on trickery over brute force, such as hiding in shadows and manipulating his opponent's movements, the powerful toads were perfect allies. He can trap his foe inside a toad's throat. That was cool. Transform them into toads for interrogation, or even call a gigantic amphibian warrior to his side. Like the biggest grump you've ever seen. Gamabunta. <laughs> I am the wise and I always liked him. The chief toad, and you're an idiot. <laughs> and you're an idiot. Gamabunta, <laughs> <laughs> you crutch the old toad. And through Fukasaku's teachings, <laughs> Jiraiya perfected the art of Senjutsu. Through their combined efforts, he entered a new mighty form called Sage Mode. Well, it takes a long time to get Good into old sage mode. mode. Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. Like the unpredictable martial art Frog Kata, and a deadly genjutsu, the demonic illusion Toad Confrontation Chant. Which sounds weird, so why don't we just call it How Jutsu? Because if you get cut, <laughs> your soul is trapped by these that, big guys who desperately want to That'd probably be his best bet against Roshi or something totally like, like that, right? A swift kill. Sage mode also enhances Jiraiya's other abilities. If he could manipulate his, his mind into the unstoppable big ball Rasengan, which, according to the official data books, is strong enough to carve away a mountain. Wiz, he's way more than just a mountain smasher. Jiraiya is quick enough to fight some of the fastest ninja around, like Kakashi and Itachi, some of which are fast enough to intercept lightning. The leader of a lightning bolt hmm. moves around 220,000 miles per hour. Putting ninja like Jiraiya around speeds of Mach 280. Now I get why ninja are so. I'm just trying to think as they're laying all this out. More than a hundred times faster Who's gonna bullets. win the fight? I, I just Jiraiya isn't all this exactly is awesome. Strongest or fastest ninja around. He's certainly one of the most clever. Over time, he rose to become a legendary ninja and hero of his people, hailed by the honorable title of Sani. And he's a gutsy one. Like when he used his tricks to take out three of the six members of the emo rock band, Pain, before <laughs> the they tore his band. arm off, crushed his throat, <laughs> yeah. and failed him five times. And then but even while suffering sent him into the agony, big drink. Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil, paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept Poor off his Toad had to get a tattoo. You know, I guess he was a pretty gallant guy. He was. After all. That was a...
I said that was a sad but triumphant death for me. Kirby's face. That old boy, Kirby's face. All right, let's see. I gotta think it's. I think it's gonna be Roshi. By now, you've probably heard of Blue Apron, the leading meal kit delivery Although, service in I the say, unless, But did you know about all the different kinds of delicious foods you can make? Pervy like Sage's chipotle glazed chicken with poblano and lime mental rice. skills There's plenty to choose that take from, over. since they offer 12 new recipes each week. All you have to do is choose the two, three, or four that sound best to you, and they deliver it right to your door. Plus, it's super simple to cook. It's got easy to follow instructions and perfectly proportioned ingredients. They're non GMO, and the meat has no added hormone. <laughs> I like my thick. favorite part is feeling <laughs> like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have thick. a delicious meal I can whip up with ease. So check out this Wouldn't week's menu good. and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com slash battle to get your first three meals free. But right now, it's time for a death battle. Here we go. Let's do it. Ooh, ooh. This store is really close by. I don't know why. <laughs> Who's this geezer? Hey, fuzz for range. Where are the pictures? Fuzz for range. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. There's not pictures. That, yeah. Paint a thousand beautiful pictures all by themselves. Well, Roche has kind of got a point there, though. Pretty sage. Pictures rule. Hey, don't take it personally. Not like you wrote the damn thing. Uh, oh, I did. <laughs> all right, Turtle Boy, come on. Not that I have a rooting interest. Like I said, I really like both of them. I just, I, I think Roshi's gonna be too much for him. Ah, Toad Goo. You're stuck now, Baldy. Too late, Kamehame. Too late. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> Here we go. Out of the toad and into the world. I like watching these. <laughs> I, I love the 8 bit style graphics and everything. Now can you hand drive, baby? <laughs> Damn! Oh, perfect save hit him with it. Although with the amount of abuse Roshi is able to take, would that be enough? <laughs> now he's gonna get yelled at by a toad. Hey there! Can you buy me some time? What? I'm not your servant. <laughs> I'm the chief toad. Get off my lord. Yep. Uh oh. Water style. Roshi just went to droid mode. He's a quick one. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna contain him. God damn. <laughs> you have no idea. Could this be it? I've been back on the beach the whole time. Ah, there he goes. Mind fuckery. The Sun Gun versus Kamehameha. That's got to go to Kamehameha, doesn't it? Maybe not. Yeah. 
Uh oh. You old fool. I can't believe you fell for that. Let's end this. No way. What? Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I expected. I, I can't argue because that, that's what I expected would happen. Jiraiya was certainly one of the most powerful warriors of his own world, but there's no question that Roshi's sheer might outclass him. Right. One guy well, can it's break di a different in the, the world. Can break a moon. <laughs> so that was pretty yeah. obvious. The speed comparison wasn't quite so clear cut, though. While his unseen battle with Krillin was incredibly quick, Roshi's never personally shown speeds as fast as the lightning feats Jiraiya scaled to. But he did hold his own in the Tournament of Power against Planet and Galaxy Busters. Also, in Goku's training right after Korin's, he actually had to dodge lightning. Roshi's own training didn't stop after chasing the kitty around. And <laughs> his kitty chasing. Yeah. So he scaled to Goku's Love to chase progress, that kitty. It makes sense that he'd be able to match Jiraiya's speed. And probably even surpass it. Still, it would be reasonable to believe Jiraiya could use his Perhaps tactical it, talent to outsmart him. Roshi. Except Roshi's a smart fighter too. Not only does he ah, like have more experience thanks to his super. I like how they explain things further in the pop up. Sticky situations, like when he figured out the illusion powers of the talisman fighter Dercori. And remember, it took only 15 seconds for Roshi's Kamehameha to reach the moon. Given the moon's distance of over 200,000 miles from the surface of the Earth. This means the beam must have traveled over 57 million miles per hour. That's pretty more quick. More than 260 times faster than lightning. There was no uh, that's, way that's Jiraiya could along. avoid Roshi's trademark. That's about how fast my wife long. drives on the, on the highway. Crafty ninja, but all that doesn't boil down to much more than tricks against someone like Roshi. Roshi was simply faster, stronger, and had way more experience. Right. And that's why Jiraiya croaked when Roshi beat him to the punch. Ah, uh, The winner is Master Roshi. <laughs> yeah, it's got, it's got to be though, right, guys? Thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to see some exclusive even, commentary, make sure to click the box right I, there. And they and even mentioned in that pop-up, you, you know, they, the link below. they acknowledge the fact that there are some things that could have resulted in a almost instant victory for Pervy Sage, but they are few and far between. So, who is that? Who are we going to have? Oh! Thanos versus Darkseid. That's a good one. You know what would oh, be... Oh, shit. That, that's a good matchup. Yeah, I, I, I can't... I love watching these because, again, well, first of all, my memory is so shit. So a lot of times it's fun just to revisit the characters, you know, and, and their abilities and everything. And it, as far as rooting interest, I love both those guys. But that's what I kind of figured was Roshi was just too much for him. But goddamn, that was a lot of fun to watch. That was a fun battle to watch them have.